For the last 20 minutes of cooking the stew, I'm going to put some dumplings in to cook with it. And um, there's no complex recipe. I'm just going to follow the, uh, the recipe which uh, is on the pack of the suet. So we need 100 grams of uh, self-raising flour, 50 grams of suet, just a little bit of salt, and the only variation here is I'm going to put some fresh herbs in as well. I've got some parsley there. And five tablespoons of water. And we just stir that and make it into a dough. Now that's formed a nice sticky dough, I can divide this into eight little balls. So I just need some flour on my hands for this bit. So we've got our dough here. Should really have taken the wedding ring off before I did this, but never mind. So Divide that into two, into another two, and a half again. So that gives us eight equal bits of dough. Then just shape them in your hand, and when they're done, put them to one side ready to go into the stew. Need a bit more flour on my hands there on that one. Got my dumplings there. Now all I need to do is put them in the top of the stew and stick that back in the oven for 20 minutes. I like to do it with the lid off so that the result is you get a nice soft underneath of the dumpling but the top is nice and crispy. Try and give those as much room as possible. They're probably going to swell up and, and stick together a little because with the self-raising flour in there they will expand. I might just get a little bit of a good spoon. Because I've got what I'm going to do here. It probably will bubble up anyway but I want to uh, get some of the juices onto the top of those dumplings so when it does go crispy it will be lovely and caramelised. So back in the oven 20 minutes.
Now, a glass of the same beer that went into it. Good. And there's the dumpling, nice and soft underneath. Lovely and crispy on top. Cooked all the way through, yeah. It's a lovely dumpling. Now let's check the meat. Mm. That's good. Really simple. Not too much in there to confuse the flavour. You taste the meat. You taste the vegetables in there. You taste the beer. Lovely. <laughs>